Good morning. This is Black Crow Walking coming to you from Australia and I'm bringing you a study of A Course of Love by Mari Perrin. <clears throat> this is a book that has changed my life completely. Uh, I know you can't see that very well, but down here it actually explains that there's three books in one. The first one is The Course, which we are about to finish today. The second one is the treaties and the first one, third one is the dialogues, including dialogue unveiled. So we're about to enter the second book in this book, but today we will finish the first course. So let's get on with it. I'm a bit excited. So I'm going to reread uh, chapter 32, verse 3. Thus, we end this course with love given and, and love received in truth. You are the learner here until you realize that you are love. You then become the teacher of what you are. Your mind and heart join in wholeheartedness in the embrace. You are home and there you will stay forever. What does that mean? It means that we are eternal beings, that love is eternal. And thus to say to you, Amen. You have returned to love and your relationship with love has returned you to yourself. Think not. I love that bit. <laughs> I got a lot out of that yesterday. Think not. This course requires no thought and no effort. There is no prolonged study and the few specific exercises are not required. This course has succeeded in a way in ways you do not yet understand and have no need to understand. I like that. <laughs> I have no need to understand it. These words have entered your heart and sealed the rift between your mind and your, your heart. Be true to love and you cannot fail to be true to yourself. If you do not think you are yet prepared, if you think you are not yet ready, cease to think. <laughs> Absolutely. Read again these words of love and let the sound of love soothe your worries away. Give me the thoughts that remain to trouble you and I will return them to you transformed by love. Do not grieve your thoughts or believe in, in loss of anything of any kind. Thus, you will all you you will all have already received the remember be sorry, I'm gonna read that sentence again. Thus will all you have already received. Be remembered in this time of the second coming of Christ. What's the second coming of Christ? It's you remembering you are love. That's what it is. It's an analogy. An analogy. That's all. And what of miracles? The last and final miracle has occurred. For what miracles are needed when mind and heart are one and you have returned to the embrace? This is the miracle to end all miracles, the only accomplishment of the only Son of God. For what you, your heart has shared with your mind is shared with all minds, and what your heart has shared is only love. Thus, love returned to love. How beautiful is that? And a beautiful way to end the book. Stop thinking. Think not. I love that. And what was that other one that they said? Um, If you do not think you are yet prepared, if you think you are not yet ready, cease to think. Regain these words of love and let the sound of love soothe your worries. Give me the thoughts that remain troubled and I will return them to you transformed by love. How good is that? Thus will all you have already received be remembered and in this time of the second coming of Christ and what of miracles the last and final miracle has occurred 
for what the miracles for what miracles are needed when mind and the heart are one and you have returned to the embrace. This is a miracle to end all miracles all need of miracles, the only accomplishment of the only Son of God. For what your heart has shared with your mind is shared with all minds, and what your heart has shared is only love. Love has returned to love. And that's the gist of this. You are love and you have returned to love within you. I love you. Can't wait for tomorrow when we start the second part of this book. Love you. Bye for now.